At first glance, it looks a bit like the tide's out, revealing a muddy shoreline. But this is not silt, and it's not meant to be here. Marine mucilage, also known as sea snot, has blanketed this Turkish coastline now for days. Seen here under the water, clinging to rocks and seaweed, you can understand the problem it's causing to sea life. It's alarming both for fishermen and for local people. The root cause uh, of uh, this, uh, the, the sea snot is uh, really, we need to limit the amount of uh, anthropogenic derived nutrients that are entering the sea. We need to stop or, or uh, slow down climate change, the warming, because uh, one way or another, it's going to affect our seas. The slimy layer is formed when algae is overloaded with nutrients. It's a natural process, but one that has got completely out of control. Campaigners have blamed global warming and have called on President Erdogan's government to step in. Just like we cleaned Golden Horn, which was a greater trouble, hopefully we will save our seas from the trouble of mucilage. My fear is, if this expands to the Black Sea and comes to Marmara, from there, the trouble will be enormous. We need to take the step without delay. Work has begun to try and remove the sludge, but this is a massive problem for the city to tackle, and one so far for which there doesn't seem to be an obvious solution. Harriet Hadfield, Sky News.